Hello, welcome. I'm Ileana and I have another layout for you, start to finish, where I've taken on the challenge of the Fun Kits monthly scrapbook challenges to use the Craft Market collection. So that is the Craft Market paper you see me slicing into there, but I did bodge it a little bit. And the reason for that is that this Fiskars trim is fairly new to me, and the places I would want there to be imperial measurements there are only metric and that threw me a little bit even though I'm normally quite staunchly metric I have to say when it comes to scrapbooking I do like the old imperial measurements anyway so no problem I shall just washi tape that together with some old washi tape and uh, just get on with it even though it does leave a great big line down the edge of the layout I'm not going to let that bother me too much especially as I'm distressing the edges uh, anyway and I'm going to layer it up a few times over. So with this fresh cut Poppy Lane basic grey paper, uh, I thought it kind of blended in nicely with the kit. I think there's a paper not dissimilar to that in the Craft Market collection, but I've just used that as a border in any case. And uh, and then I've kind of double bordered it with just a white piece. It's the back of some old scrapbooking paper that I knew I wasn't going to use ever. But I've decided to just distress the edges there by crumpling it. There's a little bit of gold smooch going down the side of it and uh, as well as the two distressed stain colours you saw me show you there. So I'm just going to layer that all up together being quite um, liberal with the ATG to make sure that the crumple piece sits fairly flat and securely. So now pulling out the actual craft market um, chipboards that hello piece, I find hello a funny word to use on scrapbooking <laughs> I don't quite get that. There's a lot of elements that say hello and it's not something I naturally want to say on a page. But anyway, it's bunting. And the idea as well, one of the challenges with this month was to use a banner or a flag and what better way than to use the word hello that came in the kit. And I was very inspired by the way Jen Box herself, who hosts the group, had cut apart her chipboards in one of her layouts and I thought why not do the same and I cut the squirrel off the top of that as well I think she did that too and um, so I've laid up that kind of the flags the bunting um, on some sequins as you'll see me do later now what I'm doing is pulling out some sparkle from the, the stash I have uh, some sequins some glass beads some probably some plastic snowflakes if I remember and um, Oh, that butler didn't make it. I did want him, so wanted him in the layout, and I thought about that, but I uh, didn't, didn't quite get him to work there. But anyway, so I've used, um, yeah, the distress as a, a technique. I've been watching other scrapbookers use on YouTube, and I thought I'd like to give that a go myself. So that was another thing I was quite pleased to do with the same distress stains that I'd used to swipe around the edges of the white piece, so the pistachio and the uh, sponge sugar. And um, which I thought coordinated quite well with the kit as well, those two colours. The, the pistachio is slightly on the greener side, but there's a bit of a green going on with the kit colours too, so works great for me. Um, now, uh, the, the other aspect of the, the monthly challenges to this kit was to try and make a masculine layout using what's, I suppose, predominantly quite a feminine uh, collection, the craft market. And so I think I've achieved that pretty well. I think it's still, it's it's not too girly, is it? I mean, it's got pink sequins draped all over the place. And, you know, what what kind of a 21-year-old chap would actually put Bunt in and over his own party? Not many. He didn't. Uh, but I think you can have fun with a layout like this. And I think it still does look masculine enough for my purposes. Well, what I've done as well is to flip the the zigzag lines 90 degrees to make them vertical. I just wanted to give the whole page a bit more energy and I think it serves it well. And actually this was my husband's 21st birthday party. There were lots of friends there as well. This just happens to be a solitary shot. Uh, looks like he's just having a beer, a quiet beer on his own in the garden, but actually there were lots of friends around as well. But uh, there was also a distracting washing line behind him, which you can't really pick up particularly well on camera. But I've layered up sequins and I don't know if I've actually just drawn attention to something I could have ignored. But, um, well, never mind. It's done now. Um, and I've tried to incorporate that as a fun place to put some bunting for him. And actually what I did do off camera after the whole thing had rolled out, I, the next day I picked up the layout and I thought, oh, 
where I put the hello across towards his head was just far too strong. It was too too heavy there, and so I actually lifted it up onto the higher um, line of sequins, and I think it looks a lot more preferable to my eye anyway. But I did that off camera, I'm afraid. So the way you see me go with this is all to layer it up towards his head. But I just thought I'd let you know what I eventually did to remedy that for my own satisfaction. And so I'm just cutting into the, um, yeah, so this sort of greeny blue paper, which would have been used on my Dutch uncle's layout. It was just hanging around and I thought, again, that kind of masculinizes the layout a little bit as well. So it balances out the kind of pinker tones and just popping it all up onto some foam tape. And uh, what else have I done though, just so I can talk you through. Uh, yes, I've used those little brads as well. And I, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking of. I used, I bought hundreds of those in the early days of scrapbooking and I'll never get you through them all, but at least three per layout maybe going forward, I'll get there somewhere. And this wine that, well, actually, probably Champa's bottle my mum's um, given to me a long time ago. I've had that in my stash for a while. I just thought I would use here in this challenging piece. Now, I know it's probably a cotton wool jar or something like that, but I thought, why not make it a wine cooler? And you'll see me place some of the um, glass beads in there to emulate ice. Um, and by the way, I snipped the bottle to make it look taller just to make the proportions look a bit more satisfying for me. And I'm sticking some sequin stars down there with glossy accents. Well, the reason that I decided to just use that jar, apart from the challenge of what was I going to do with that great big jar that came in the chipboards, and I think a lot of people are finding that quite challenging, if I'm right in picking that up from, <laughs> from other people. But uh, I decided that it would really work here on this layout as a kind of like a private wink almost to the fact that we were using back in those days loads of items to commandeer the purpose for, for other things so we used um I went out and bought rather than a tablecloth which would have been quite pricey for me you know we were a lot younger we were just dating both living at our parents houses and you know didn't have a whole load of money decided to buy a bed sheet to cover the tablecloth with of course and, um, you know, other such things, as you do when you're young, you just, you drink wine out of beakers and all that kind of thing. So, um, yes, yeah, so that's, that's why I've decided to use a cotton wool canister as a wine cooler here. And um, those party tags as well, I think they're really probably more for card makers. Mum gave those to me a little while back and they say things like happy birthday, party time, birthday boy. And I just thought I'd make a bit of a visual triangle with those and it's a great way. I'm so glad to have used those up as well. The gold cake you see me there and, and also the hat I tried to uh, put on my, well Dave, he wasn't my husband then but he is now, on his head. Well they were just some chipboard pieces that I spray painted gold. I had so wanted to make that hat work but in the end I just went with a cake which I quite like there kind of toppling off there to the left with the wine cooler and uh, pulling out that sticker from the sticker sheet of the craft market to lay on the title which is 21 on ice you know I like to play with words and it's the fact also that he although he was actually 21 there he's aged ever so well folks he looks good in his years he's in his early 30s now and um, the way I've done the journaling I've tried to kind of give a little wink to that as well it says we still have the plates and the tablecloth today 2015 no wrinkles either so you know no wrinkles on the tablecloth well we still have that actually um we don't really use it as a tablecloth but i digress and so you sure saw me um just picking out some of the other stickers to make some bunting up there and as i did say before you'll see that i flip the bunting completely to place the wording hello up above and uh, you just stick in a few of the extra sequins there onto that tag to tie in with the other sequin strips that I've used. And I can't remember if I've said, but the thing I've really enjoyed about this layout is the fact that I've used so many items from my stash and particularly ones that my mum has donated me. I know that she loves to see me use her stuff. And these tags are one example of that, uh, as well as the champagne bottle. Uh, that she she made kind of as it as was 
and then there are going to be some leaves that I place underneath the wine cooler if you like and that she had already stamped I think and coloured in and the uh, sequin strip I think that's pretty much her items on this layout it's just really been fun to do that it's one of the challenges as part of the monthly scrapbook kits as well um, so that was brilliant now the last thing I'm going to be doing on this layout is to write my journaling that's what I tend to do at the last so as I know I'm about to do that I'm going to say thank you so much for watching I uh, look forward to coming back and sharing another layout with you soon and thank you very much for all your support with your comments your ratings your thumbs ups and subscriptions I appreciate you all very very much so bye for now Thank you.